listening to you. You're watching and listening to Breakfast with Stephen and Anne at Christmas time. Yes, it is Christmas time. <laughs> Just getting all can't jolly can't now. now. Should we take a look at today's front pages? The Times has an interview with the General Secretary of the Royal College of Nursing, who told the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, to get a grip. The Mail says hospitals have been told to empty beds before next week's ambulance strikes. The Telegraph reports that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be invited to the coronation of King Charles despite all of the controversy recently. The Guardian says traces of a Class A drug were found at a government house after parties attended by political allies of Liz Trust. And The Sun reports that former pop star Gary Glitter, who was jailed in 2015 for sexually abusing young girls, will be released from prison within weeks after serving half his sentence. Uh, let's go through some of those then with political strategist John McTernan and Mariana Hossa. Good morning. She's Good morning. that woman off of time team. Um, Amongst other things. Well, yes, but, you know, that's my favourite. I know. <laughs> I love time team. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really yeah. good, yeah. yeah. But can we talk Brussels sprouts? Oh, yes. I think we Sorry. should. Yes, more, more pertinent to Christmas time. Ooh. So, this year, sprouts are going to be smaller right. but sweeter. Oh. So... If you like sprouts, go for it. If you don't like, if you think you don't like sprouts, maybe this year is yes. the year to try. Why will they be smaller? So they're smaller because they were planted in June or July, which was that super hot time, if oh. you can remember way back when. <laughs> um, and so the plants struggle to really sort of get a get a grip. And so obviously the the things they fruit are the sprouts. Yeah. So they they end up smaller because they had a bit of a slow start because of the drought. But now because of the really cold weather, the freezing temperatures. Um, help the plant convert what might be those bitter tasting starches into sweeter tasting sugars. So it's not super sugary, it's not like going to yeah. be eating a lolly, but <laughs> it's going to be that sweet deliciousness, well, not that like, be bitter, nice. horrible. They will be nice. They'll be harder yeah. to roast, though. Yeah. Because they'll be smaller. So oh, yeah, so you don't want to burn them. You don't want to burn You might want to parboil them. I like, I like a roast oh, sprout. A roast oh, sprout is a good thing. Way, isn't it? A steamed sprout is a good thing. Basically, what, however you cook them, Get them out of the heat, especially in water or steam. Get them out. Don't let them sit in the no, pan no, and hot and soggy. Cold. And yeah, they're just soggy and disgusting. Raw and sprouts. Like I say what? Raw, raw sprouts are, are very nice. <coughs> what? Yeah. Oh yeah. Salad. Yeah. What do you do? Just, just cut them up. Cut them in half. Yeah. Cut them in half. They're lovely. They're really nice. nice. Blow my mind. Deep in coleslaw. Well, yeah. 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 Oh, actually, that'd be nice. Oh, yes. A sprout coleslaw. It would. Mm. Now, oh, this is the winter to do it. It's lovely when you get when you can buy sprouts on the on the, on the stem, on stem the yeah. Wind, yeah, and the, and they're covered in snow sometimes and everything. Oh, it's lovely! <laughs> Why this are is, you this a type, so from a sort of farm shop or something. <laughs> they literally just pull them out the ground. It's great. Yeah, yeah. and then um, hats off to the people who are harvesting our sprouts. Oh, right. They've been working in bitter conditions. Yes, oh, brutal. Them. brutal. Yeah. But you could be a nice Christmas dinner. Not hats off. I mean, an extra hat off. Hat, hat, hat on, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile. The French team, oh dear, because of course it's a big game tomorrow, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, the French team have been suffering from a virus that's been... A flu-like virus, it, it's, it's a terrible story. The the French team are going down one by one by one with this flu-like virus. Uh, it says in the, oh. in the Telegraph that it's thought that this virus, they may have caught it during the England match. Oh, they're um, trying to blame it on us. <laughs> no, it's, but it's, the, thing, the, the worst thing for anybody who loves sport is France versus Argentina should be settled by the players, the best players or the best teams fighting each other out. And so it'd be, I hate to see a weakened France up against Messi because Messi is going to be hard to handle. Well, no, it's difficult for England fans because who would you want to win? I would say people would want France to win, wouldn't we, rather than Argentina. Well, mm -hmm. So that I'm you're beaten sure. by the ultimate winners? We no, were beaten well, by well, the other No, 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 just be, I'm, yeah. thinking because, I'm thinking because of... Um, 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 that, no. thing, that thing. No, I'm oh, thinking Falklands. Falklands. Oh, oh. 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 Falklands. Ancient history. I forgot about that. Come on. Yeah. That was when it was a fascist dictatorship. I mean, that's a long time yes, ago. Yes, it is different. Um, and also, Messi. They still want to get their hands on the Falklands, though, don't they? What oh, I'd love the, the, great, the, great, on. the greatest footballer. Uh, maybe of all time, he deserves to win the World Cup, I think. I think who, who is? Messi. Mbappe. Lionel Messi. No, 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 Mbappe is considered the greatest footballer, isn't he? He's too young. He's not, not all, I mean, Messi is like... Messi. Yeah, but the point is you've got the two up against each other. That is true. And then you've got Ball Griezmann, out. the defender. You've got, like, it should be a clash, but not a virus a against virus. Is there a worry yeah. that the French won't be able to play their best players? Yes, then? yes, some of the defenders and midfielders are going off. It's, like, really important, so... We're not as deep on the bench, the bench as we were. Yeah. 
Mm. Then it's just deep. So imagine it, yeah. What does that mean? Well, I don't know, but he's using the phrase to sound really No, it means, it, it means, as John will tell you, they haven't yet, there's, there's substitutes out as strong. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. If you're deep on the bench, then you've got really good names even yeah, on the bench. Yes. Thanks, Anne. But it'd just be it'd just be a shame if it wasn't just a great football match because it, it, mm. these two are probably the best footballing teams uh, that yeah. have come through. Oh, I wonder what will happen. But at the moment, uh, Argentina's healthy. Yes. At the moment, well, England haven't paid Argentina. They couldn't give them it the virus. It can't be our <laughs> fault. <laughs> it cannot be our it's fault. It's not our fair. fault. No, it's not our fault. So the Telegraph, um, Marianne, um, water quality. What's quality in the UK? Yeah, so I think even if you are not naturally inclined towards being an environmental activist, you can't help but have noticed all that conversation around massive um, leaks at the point we were being given water restrictions, yep. oh. all the raw sewage discharges because there was the threat of floods after the after the drought periods. There's a leak on my drive home from here yeah. mm -hmm. that's been there for about three weeks now, and it is pouring out on, on a big main road. It is pouring out. It's been going for weeks. And the thing is... That's when you, Why yeah. can you stop it? Yeah, you look at that, and not only is there the environmental cost, the energy cost, because that's probably clean water, or it's filthy water. Either way, it shouldn't be leaking out of the pipes. No. But also, imagine the people who mm. pay their money to that water company, and you don't get a choice, even though it's a privatised yeah. system. You don't get to choose which your water company is. It's £5 notes. Yeah. It's being yes. thrown onto the street. It is. Um, and how many millions of litres of water being lost yeah. per, per minute. Mm. So basically, DEFRA, uh, which is the Department for Environmental and Rural Affairs and Farming, um, released yesterday, they released targets. So these are like government binding, legally binding targets for a certain environmental um, uh, aspects of our environment. So things like uh, the amount of tree cover, because we need to plant new trees, the amount of peatland restoration, because that's going to absorb lots of carbon rather than be putting it yeah. out into the atmosphere. But also, what they failed to do was uh, specifically target improved water quality. Mm. So we're going to have horrible water, sewage, agricultural runoff, urban runoff, um, and then then much weakened targets. And loads and loads of different conservation and environmental organisations have been pushing, begging the government put ambitious targets in, and then you actually have um, a means to force the water mm. companies to do the right thing. Because yeah. otherwise they go, oh, yeah, we're trying, but they don't. Three weeks later, Stephen, you've still got the water yeah, pouring down. It's not right. It's scandalous. It's scandalous. And they're private companies. There are tax, uh, you know, shareholders who are making profit oh, out yes. of us Big and out of their environment. Have you seen the picture that's in a lot of papers today of this astonishing hedge, which is near, mm -hmm. near um, where there has been a water leak? Um, and so there's been a great big pool of water in the road for a long time. And as drivers have driven past, throwing up the water at this hedge, it's formed a hedge of icicles. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the most astonishing picture. Where can, we, can, where, where can I go close up on it? Oh, it's steady. Get it. Mm. There. It's a hedge that's grown all these amazing icicles. Mm. That's... There's a man there taking a picture of it, and it's been, as they say there, it's an ice effect. But um, it's because there was a water leak there, and drivers have just been going past, shoving the, um, throwing the water up onto the hedge, and it's gradually dripping. It's beautiful. Off. It's, it's icicles. It's an icicle tree. It's yeah. it, is, it is beautiful, but we shouldn't be happening. Shouldn't be happening. No, um, yeah, absolutely. The flip side of it is short-sighted and, mm. and utterly irresponsible mm -hmm. for future mm -hmm. generations. Um, a very disappointing story in the mail, John. Because we've got um, declassified documents about JFK's assassination, and there's nothing. 13,000 classified files, and it turns out it still was Lee Harvey Oswald. Mm. But, <laughs> and I know, I know, I know, all this I know the American governor, President Biden, has probably released them so that conspiracy theories can stop. But um, they probably will never stop, will they? People's no. not. Stopping. But there's, there's interesting details for people that. So when um, Lee Harvey Oswald visited the Russian embassy in Mexico City, he was taped. Uh, he was taped because there was a bugging operation jointly between the Mexican spies and the American spies. So the, the Americans knew that Lee Harvey Oswald, shortly before he assassinated um, uh, Kennedy, was talking to the Russians. And so the, it's, the, it's the fact of how many traces there were of this man, his connections to, to, to the Soviet Union, he had defected once already. All the, I mean, there's a lot of material there to read through, but it does seem like it's being 
finally let out because a lot of the people who are involved and named are, are long gone now. Yeah. So you can yeah. release and declassify. Well, I mean, it's, inter it's interesting. It's a shame yeah. there's no sort of yeah. smoking gun. No smoking Well, there was one. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> um, can we just very quickly, we're almost out of time, yeah. look at The Guardian and board games, Mary Ann. Yeah. Yes. I love a board game at Christmas. I, I quite like a board game. I don't like Monopoly. No. It's rubbish. It's banned from our It's oh, basically no. a rubbish game, that's why. It's not. Oh, it's no, it's No, no, it's terrible, it's terrible. <laughs> you sit there, either <laughs> you're winning in some kind of narcissistic megalomaniac <laughs> chapter of... Yeah, you never win. Yeah, so what? Never win. And what's, then I never win. There you go, that's yeah. it. But there's lots of really fun, sort of collaborative games. Oh, here we go. Um, Everyone's what? a winner. <laughs> yeah, it's like those, you, you, you can be a winner as well. You, there's you, also, so like the other thing sports, is... Do you like these sports, um, school sports days where everyone's a winner? All that sort of thing. No, because you're, you're beating the game. So you're still a winner or a loser. You can still be desperately disappointed by He's being a rubbish. A loser. Don't worry, He's Steve. He's a champion. <laughs> um, but also, um, Brits really like escape room in a boxes. So oh, wow. yeah, massively up because um, you can, if you want to, if you're feeling a bit, you know, like you want to sharpen the knives, then it's, <laughs> then it's one of us is the murderer and we have to work it out. Yeah. And then maybe you could be the person going, it's you! Yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, but, yeah, basically, Monopoly's rubbish, but there's yeah, loads, loads, loads of games. There's loads of games. That's not what the Guardian say, sorry, I should be clear. That's what I say. <laughs> I, um, the Guardian <laughs> is just say, celebrating the fact that Brits love playing board games at Christmas. I, I want to get cards against humanity. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that sounds super. Uh, oh, I did a, see one the other day and it's actually 30 quid so I didn't get it but that, Cards Against Humanity Cards that. Against Humanity gets funnier and funnier the more relaxed you are in each other's company have you played? Um, oh, you've clearly played it then. A, a couple of times, yeah. yeah. I've never played it, but I know people who have. If it's if it. it's a tense family situation, then no. I suggest maybe go for a different. Yeah. Yeah. I interviewed um, Hugh Bonneville the other day from oh. Downton Abbey, oh. and he said, because I, I said, what do you do when you're we are waiting in in filming because there's an awful lot of hanging oh. around, and he said we all used to play Wink murder. Have you oh, oh murder. Wink murder, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, basically the, there's a group of you yeah. and only one knows it because you, you draw lots yeah. and yeah. when you open your little bit of it says you're the murderer. Um, and it's and you, you, you carry on doing whatever you're mm. doing uh, and then you wink at somebody and they have to die. <gasps> So they die, and the other the other members, of course, have no idea. Didn't see the wink. No idea who's the murderer, and they have to gradually work it out. And apparently, D uh, Dame Maggie Smith is absolutely brilliant, oh, uh, right, which yeah. you can imagine. And you can do really fun theatrical. Uh, uh, yes, you have to do a theatrical uh, death. Uh, right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Can you imagine with that? A lot? load of actors. All, yes, it must have been really good. So <laughs> wink murder is apparently yeah, very very good. Very good. To try. Also, uh, you don't need to spend thirty quid buying a book. No, you don't even know it. No, you can do that. it with post-it notes, ripped yeah. up bits of paper. All those like old-fashioned parlour games don't yep. cost yeah. you anything and are True. brilliant fun. Mm. Well, um, we are out of time, I'm sorry to say, but it's been good to see you both good this morning. You. Thank you very much indeed.